And what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, warriors and monsters at home? This be your boy, IFC Yipes, and of course, welcome to the bonus stage presented by Victrix. Please make some noise. Don't let me know that y'all sound here. Please make some noise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, we are here for a lot of festivities. Not only do we have Street Fighter V and Tekken 7 action, which is going on right now as we speak, we are here to celebrate the Victrix Pro FS premiere today. So please make some noise on that again as well. Yes, 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 of course, of course. Today we're gonna just follow through with some fighting games. We got some exhibitions on deck, but just to give you guys a heads up, here live on the set, you can get yourself a Victrix Pro FS, right? And not only that, you can go over to the side and get the laser, one more time, the laser, the laser engraving technology, which means you can actually custom make your art, just little signs, something you want to graffiti on it. Kind of like the dark side beam right in front of your face. Obviously, you could do that live. But if you can't do it live, please go on over to VictrixPro.com and place yourself in order so you do not miss out on none of the action. But without further ado, let's move forward in here. Obviously, we got the top eight going down, bringing it down to the top four for Street Fighter V and Tekken 7. Please make some noise. Your mom's just probably watching right now. Your pops, please make some noise. And of course, before I even get to the exhibition side of things, I gotta give a shout out to this beautiful dog, Chloe. Chloe's her name. How you doing, baby? Amazing. She said, get the hell away from me. You're not that cute. I respect that. Okay. Okay, now we're here with the captains. Let's make some noise here, please. Please turn around, hold up. So we're gonna go, I'll leave to Bailey last. Of course we got, where we going, right, right here, right here, okay. So, of course, throw it to the left. No real, no real introduction for the guy. We got Justin Wong. Justin Wong. Make some noise for the man. Yeah. Okay. And of, and, of course, we got the lovely Sherry Jennings here. Make some noise. Alex Myers. And, of course, my favorite player of all time, Alex Jabaley. Yes, yes. So, guys, so for those that don't know the rule, here are the rules. It's, it's, it's a 3v3, and they get to pick. Not only some people that was in the tournament, but somebody random in the crowd. So please, be prepared. If you know that place for Street Fighter, these guys will know. So of course, we're gonna go to our first. Justin Wong, who are you gonna pick? Let me get this, let me get go this. Ahead, go ahead, brother. You know, I thought it was all fun, and then Sherry comes hit me up and say, hey, well, you better not choose my players. We have S, players. All right? So then I'm, I'm like, oh, my first pick, who I wanted to pick. She's like, no, that's my pick. And I was like, damn, it's just the team tournament. So you know what? My first pick, <laughs> don't worry. My first pick, I'm going to keep it fun. I'm going to choose Alex Valle. Oh! That's my first pick. I don't need no tournament competitors. I'm going to pick Alex Valle Ooh. because I like to keep things fun. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? I like that. The OGs stick together from the East and West, but Justice from the West. All right, all right, now Sherry, it's your turn. Who are you picking? Okay, look, there's a backstory to this. I had to fight mad hard for this, you know. We were all huddled around. This is a great first pick. I'm gonna go with the local here. This is known as Panoy. Where are you at? I think he's playing in his top eight match right now. <laughs> okay, next one. That's a good pick. All right, I'm going to pick an invader who lives in SoCal now. I'm going to pick JB to be on my team. And then JB. I don't know why I'm here. Uh, Stupendous, where are you at? I got Stupendous on my team. I'll take Stupendous. He stole my Valle, but I'll take Stupendous. Okay, okay. Well, since he was last on the block, you actually get to start it off now. We're going to go from left to right, well, from right to left. So here you go. Please pick your next competitor. Are you going to smash that, Gigi? Yeah, let me see who made top eight. I need your help, San Diego. I don't know your players. Do I go with Dankadillas, Filipino Man, or Chris Wynn? Who am I? He's on loser's side, though. <laughs> Who's I'll take Donka. Dankadillas. Yeah. Get them damn names right, Alex. <laughs> All right, Jabali took my third pick. All right, but I'll go with the other doll, so I'm going to pick Jesse. Man of Jesse. Okay. All right. All right, I got what I wanted, as usual. 
So I'm going to go with Filipino man. <laughs> like I said, Sherry is boring. No one cares about what Sherry picks. But before I choose my last member, I want to show off my custom stick that Victrix has made for me. You know what I mean? You ready? I would love to see this. Let me get it. Let me get it together. World permit premiere, pre -pre premiere, premiere. Ooh! And you know what? You, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what's funny about this. It looks cool. I see the characters, but I see already caught my eye. And for those that was watching before, y'all remember the epic comeback? I was on that video. I'm proud, but I'm not too proud at the same time. But this looks fire, though. This looks fire. I, I, I mess with the Pokemon, yes. There's a fire there. You got all of your characters, obviously, that represent you, all the beautiful ladies, and then you're just surrounded by all the evolutions. I respect that. Justin Wong, ladies and gentlemen, he is ready to bring some noise with some big tricks. Yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. Wait, wait. We, no one cares about your stick, all right? But I want to say my last member, like I said, I keep it, want to keep it fun. I'm going to choose IFC Yipes. Yeah! I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah! Yeah! I'm with it. I'm down. Oh? All right, so you know what, guys? Just to kick off this action, let's take it over to our casters, Sejan and James Chen. Take it away. What's up, everybody? We knew it. James, you and I were like, as soon as he picked Vi, we were like, he's going to pick Yipes. He was he, going to be on the team. Is this allowed? Is Can he do this? Why not? <laughs> I don't know. For a second there, when he said OGs, I was like, is he going to pick James? Is oh, he no, going no, no, to pick no. Vi and if James? He, if and he him? wants to win, he's not picking me, okay? I love but that Justin picked people because he was like, I want this to be a fun team. Yeah. You know, I want it to be fun. And then Alex Myers grabbed the mic and said, I'll take JB. And like the <laughs> first person, he was like, I'm taking JB, bro. Yeah. He's on my team. I'm trying to win. Yeah, I was like, all I, right. I, I just can't wait to see how this uh, this, this Donka Dillis guy plays. Yeah, who's you know? Donka, Donka Dillis. Donka Dillis. Not Donka, yeah. you know, the commentator and yes. player. Mm -hmm, Not mm -hmm. Danka Dillis. <laughs> the Southern California Donka Dawson. Donka Dillis. Donka Dillis. I've never heard of that guy. Yeah, Maybe okay. he's pretty good. Check this out. I mean, check out this venue here. I love the I love the backdrop. The bonus here. stage, punch in the yeah, barrels. Yeah. <laughs> bonus stage. Also, just like in Street Fighter Four, one of the backgrounds was just like this. That's right. right. They yeah. had the uh -huh. that was like a super stage, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. it was like the brewery mm -hmm. that they had in the background. Yeah, exactly. So I always associated that stage with Dudley. I don't think it's actually his stage, but I felt like it was his stage. Dude. I'm not going to lie. I totally had every stage assigned to a player. Yeah, I can't remember yeah. who I assigned that stage to anymore. That was a long time ago. There's always something like that, right? <laughs> you said a player or a character? To the characters. To the characters. Because yeah, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, if we're going to talk about player, the, the player I assigned to a stage in Street Fighter 4 is uh, underpass, the overpass, I mean. Okay. I always saw Mongo play there. Right, yeah. Mongo always, always pick picked that stage. Well, I, he was a Fei Long player, and supposedly it was shorter, which I think someone proved it wasn't. Whatever. But, you know, Rekka. Rekka them to the corner. Yeah, exactly. So. Maybe when he was Sagat, he tried to pick a longer stage. <laughs> he was like, oh, we need to fit, do the math, figure out that, which one That would be the Jetta stage in Vampire Savior, the creepy baby in the background. Mm -hmm. That one. Definitely was, was proven to be a longer stage. Yeah, yeah but. but we're here for the launch of the Victrix uh, FS. You mentioned the stick that they have That's here. Right. So, like, if you're here, you can try the stick, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people have gotten a chance to try it at different events, and uh, it's been around a few different places. You've gotten to try it. I've gotten to try it. Yes. Great stick. If you guys are interested in it, and if you see it at an event, like, what I do, I don't know if this is just me, okay. but I'm at, like, a local, and I see, like, an a new arcade stick or something, and I'm like, hey, man, uh, you mind if I get in? Oh, <laughs> I didn't bring my stick. Can I maybe try that <laughs> real quick? Let me, let me see what this bad would Take it for a spin, you know? Like, like the OG tactics That's right not how you dude, have you to do the, it. You've got the OG tactics here. I like it. you got to like figure it. it out, man. You're like, oh, yeah, let me just try this out real quick. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I like this thing a lot. It's great. I, I recommend if you get a chance to try it. If you see, like, you know, Victrix is, has a booth at any event or anything like mm -hmm. that, you want to give it a shot. It's a really great stick. I think I think it's great. Well, one of my favorite things about it, obviously, is uh, they work with Freak Mods for with the, this. The uh, so detachable Clayton. stick. Yeah, so I, I actually bought one of those from a long time ago, the JLF that he actually the link? has. Yeah, the Link. And uh, he this is a updated version of it, and so you can actually detach the joystick. Yeah. Stores in your luggage nice and flat. It's great. And everything, so you don't have the joystick popping up that you have to throw in all your extra clothes and, and socks. Clothes and teacher packet yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We know about the joystick pack. Every time strategies. you travel with the <laughs> stick, you're like, okay, I can't ma have the stick like smashed around or messed up. So like, I have to pack it in this way. With the link, it's really easy. So yeah. if you don't have a link, I recommend one just because it's detachable. So like a stick like this, they have a place where you can just put it on the inside. Mm -hmm. You can leave mm -hmm. it on the inside. There's like a little slot for it on the side. It's great. It's, it's so it's useful. Good, you know, I mean, but even when I used to pack it a long time ago with the joystick there, I'd always pack all my underwear around it, you know, and then that way the when, cushion. when people actually wanted to borrow my stick, you know, I 
be You're like, like, oh, it's Vinex in my underwear. <laughs> I don't know if you want to get it. It's that oh. whole strategy. See, that's the counter OG strategy. To me, right you'd be there, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I packed the stick with my underwear, and I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can have an X. That's fine. I'm like, no, you got me. You got me figured out. Yeah. So we're going to have team exhibitions. It is 3v3. Yeah, it's going to be four one, teams. Ga one, like one game each. One game each. Yeah, uh huh. Single elimination, by the way. So Love this it. Is, this is just it. This is it right here. Yeah, so. this is kind of like a fun, you know, thing that we're doing with the Victrix players, and we're doing mm -hmm. with Alex mm -hmm. Bailey snuck on here somehow. I'm not sure how yeah, he I did know. that. And then, but, uh, man, isn't he from, like, the other side of the country? Yeah, well? he should yeah, be in what, Florida. What he was just doing here? Dude, I saw him. He was in India. I saw him. He was in, like, uh, <laughs> Australia or something. He's traveling all over the world, maybe oh, for DreamHack or something. I don't even know. But he's here now. And the cool thing is, is we have this, and then we have top four after this. So we yeah. have top four Tekken, top four for Street Fighter, uh, some cool prizes on there. This is a, a fun event to just come check out in San Diego. I, like, for me, I don't know if you're the same way. I like San Diego. It's great yeah, yeah, to just yeah. come visit, right? Really wow. beautiful, great food, and it's a short drive from where we are. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I really honestly haven't been to San Diego that often. Oh, yeah? I need to come here a lot more often. Yeah, the food yeah, is great. But, yeah. There's a really cool local scene down here. If you're in the San Diego area, you got to hit up Cody. I won't say his name on, on the stream. <laughs> You'll find him. you got to hit up Cody, and you got to uh, go to some of the locals around here, check it out. The San Diego scene has always had really good players, and they're really, like, cool group of people just to hang out yeah, with. Yeah, long history of that, too, because I was even talking to – one of the oldest this school game. of oldest school, yeah, uh -huh, of Visant here. And, uh, you know, we were talking about the history of the salt mines and even before that. The salt box, mines. I remember box, watching it. Box, box Arcade. Arena. Yeah, Box, box Arena. Arena. Yeah. yeah so that was on, it used to be on Tuesdays, I think, right? I can't on remember Mondays? which days. But, yeah, like I said, these this, this, the rivalry with L.A. and San Diego has spanned all the way back. I mean, even in the earliest days, I can go back as far as the – Bob Painter, James Romney from from Street Fighter Two days, you All know, right. from San Diego, long before you know. my time. Yeah, exactly. So you know, it, it's really cool, and and you know, just being here already, it seems like the San Diego players are so excited for this because they've been cheering, they've been hollering. Dude, it's they been make a ton of noise. It's yeah. been rowdy. It's almost felt like it almost feels like an East Coast tournament. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I've, <laughs> San Diego's always been like this because what happens is San Diego, they jump in their car, mm -hmm. they drive two hours up to LA or whatever, right, or OC or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then when their players are there, they scream for their boys. That's yeah, the one thing uh -huh, about them. Even uh -huh. when they used to go to, like, they go to SCR, they go to Wednesday Night Fights, they go to, like, some tournaments uh, up in there, any regionals or monthlies that we have. For any game, San Diego is like, these are my boys, right? right. They ride or die, yeah, yeah. you know, the people in my community, the people in my scene. So, like, even remember when, like, uh, Pinoy B, who was it? Yukadon, not Fujimura. Yeah, when he beat Yukadon yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day oh, at SCR, and Cody jumped up on the stage, <laughs> and he picked them up, and they were screaming. San Diego was going nuts for their boys. So that's what's cool about the San Diego scene is that they show up together and they really like kind of support each other, oh, no yeah. matter where they are, no matter like how far they are from home. Yeah, and Pinoy, obviously SD Pinoy, San Diego Pinoy, one of those players that honestly I feel like. I, I'm, I'm always surprised that he hasn't been picked up by a sponsor. Yeah. You know, he's such a strong player. But uh, we're starting here with uh, Sherry, the, uh, the unofficial Filipina today. You yeah, know? she's with Team Filipino. She's got Filipino Man and Pinoy. You notice that all the Filipino players always have to have some Filipino reference Filipino in their Filipino champ, yeah, yeah, SD yeah, Pinoy, uh -huh. exactly. Filipino Man. I always felt like, uh, who was it? Uh, Filthy Rich. It was Ian. Ian right. was the one that didn't yeah. do it right. He needs to have that Filipino in this there. This is a very history uh, <laughs> story matchup between the two of these. Oh, they yeah. they played a lot of games. <laughs> and the big thing about these two is that it's always been offensive, like get in and kill you character for Myers, and then the long range, long button character for Filipino yeah. Man, right? Used to be Sakura Rose, and now it's Chun Li Cami. Well, so far, the defense was working out at first, but you know, this is what Cami does when she gets in on you. Oh my god, but never mind. All of a sudden, a four dash from Filipino man and that's the story of his gameplay right he's, he's a really unsuspecting player where uh -oh. he's going to choose his moments but Myers gets the drill no EX after that chose not to get that extra damage <laughs> wake up legs he wanted the V trigger activation and Myers just happened to be up in the air for hooligans so round for Alex Myers He's on the game point over Filipino man. Yeah, exactly. Remember, this is just single, uh, single game, single elimination for the teams as well. Yep. And Alex choosing to go up first as the captain wants to set an example, but I think Cami's a great character to start with, right? Very oh, yeah. momentum heavy. One game, you can get the job done. Very few bad matchups for her too. So regardless of who they send up, you know, you be able to do really well. Yeah, it's a solid choice. And also, Myers is really good. He's got a good team backing him, too, right? He's got two really solid players. That fears from long distance. Yeah. Such a great button for Trump. But you got to be careful. As soon, now now he can't do it anymore. Cammy has the super. So anytime he blocks that standing fears, you're, oh, 
Well, no more meter, but you're just taking all that damage. Oh, oh. Confirm. Oh, Overcut. And, and the it's dizzy. A stun. There it is. And look at that. She's like, uh oh. Who's going to go up next? What are we going to do? Send up Panoi, SD Panoi Bison, or are you going to go with Nikali at this point? And that's it. They're like, what? It's first to one? So it is Pokemon style. That's one thing that they uh, they figured out right now. So he's got to replug oh. in that purple cable. They've, uh, so wait. Pokemon was, style, yeah, first okay, one. Yeah, yeah. Waseda's the one where you play 1-1, one, 2-2, one, 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 two, 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 yeah. yeah okay. That was the Tekken 12v12 last night. They That's did right. uh, Waseda, and then they did a giant Pokemon after. All right, so they're going to send him. So Sherry's going to go up there as the captain, trying to next. take out the other captain in Alex Myers. Alex Myers, of course, former SoCal, now currently NorCal, but going to be coming back. Coming back. Yeah, coming back, back home. He's, he's flip-flopping. He's California Alex Myers. <laughs> That's what he is to me, California Alex Myers. Up and down the coast. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, even when he's in NorCal, he comes out to SoCal a lot and vice versa, right? Like, you know, so you always see him around no matter where he is. Yeah, if you ask him, he'll probably, you know, ride or die SoCal, I think. So. I, maybe? I don't even know. I'm claiming him. It depends on how he's playing. That's true. If he wins, if he wins, we'll he's claim SoCal. Him. Yeah, Let's if he go. loses, then, then Sherry defeated the NorCal rival. That's there exactly. You, go. you got to figure it out. <laughs> Option selects, man. <laughs> yeah, it's either. Yeah, exactly. It's either SoCal, SoCal, great match. Right. Or it's, no, man, NorCal, Alex Myers. <laughs> he's just the worst. And he smells. <laughs> you just, uh, just, uh, just got to go after him where it hurts, James. Oh, man. All right, Captain, Captain. Team Sherry's Sherry Genix yeah, versus Team Myers, Alex Myers. Just came back from visiting Chicago, playing uh, against the Chicago Locos out over there. Oh, went for the command throw, going to get punished for that. And then got, falls for the long shimmy. I like the wake-up jab, too, because Myers, you know, you got to try it sometimes against somebody like Cammy, where you don't know what she's meeting with, stuff like heavy kick. No anti-air from Sherry earlier. That's surprising. She's That's always been one of her favorite things, is just having that anti-air ready to go. EX oh, the that's going to stun right there. So is this going to kill right here? Yes. Sherry taking round number one over Alex Myers. Put him in the coffin. That crouching fears the kill. That was great. She just did a really good job of surviving the Cammy onslaught, getting the V-trigger going. That was a really well played around from Sherry. Almost what? had the whip punish. Yeah, he tried to cancel Fierce into DP, and he just got it on whip anyway. <laughs> and it worked out for him. Very fortunate. That's oh. life. Oh, oh, what a backdash from Alex. And then a bait on the uppercut, reading everything right here, but not quite stunned yet. There it is. Yeah, round for round. Very, very fast. Yeah, two dominant rounds in a row. I can't believe that command throw didn't hit. I'm <laughs> so surprised he was backdashing. That was a, that was a pretty good read from Myers. I think it was an unsuspecting moment to go for. Maybe he was, you know, inspired by his former opponent, Filipino man, and the back backdashing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, again, the walk back from Alex Myers, and there's Cammy's walk speed doing good work for her. Yeah, got to watch the jump. There it is on the air approach. No confirm for Myers, but V-Trigger available for Sherry. There it is, activated. And now Nikali, much scarier. V reversal out from Myers. I like the choice. Oh, blocked in time, and here oh, we go. Too far, too far. Dash and up. Uh, yep, caught her da da dashing forward. Nice block, and there it is with the medium kick. Alex Myers putting in work for the team. Two Ws, and it's up to the last Filipino. SD Panoy, he's got to take it three straight games. Mr. Clink coming up here. Richard Clink Richard coming Klink, up here. Richard Clink, yeah. But you know what? He is, as we were saying, you know, very, very strong player. I remember uh, it was like two, three years ago they had the uh, Wednesday Night Fights NLBC event at EVO right. that was taking place uh, at uh, Gutex's Bar Fights. Yep. And uh, SD Panoy putting in work. I remember even going into that one. I was what? <laughs> this face. I just sorry, James. The bewilderment. <laughs> he was like, but, but what happened? <laughs> that was like you know in an anime when there's a character yeah, like yeah, I, yeah, uh -huh. I didn't know he was this powerful. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have the <laughs> sound yeah, of yeah, like with all the, the uh -huh. coming like the in all the faces. Yeah, uh -huh. the crack like screen, the drop showing up on his head. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize he was this powerful. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Man. All right. Well, let's see what SD Panoi can do, because he's going to have to take three people out in a row. And this is single elimination, so if SD Panoi goes out, Sherry's team is completely gone. Yeah, they'll be out of here. So let's see what we got here. Bipson, 
he's really great in this version. Really yeah. solid character. And, you know, and it's funny. I know uh, people have here been hearing me say this already all year, Round even though one. it's only the third month here. But Cammy obviously still super strong in this yeah. season. And historically, I don't think Bison players have liked this matchup that much. Uh, this is one that I don't think they enjoyed, particularly last season. But, you know, now uh, I think maybe a little easier, right? This character can be got a little nerf. I think if you're brave with the V skill, it would work out really well. Because I think if you V skill the dive kick, you will get the physical punish now. That's an interesting idea, yeah, because of the new one. I mean, in situations like this, right, where Whoa, wow, the drill out. That was so smart. That was so clutch. Keeps the corner. I like the three-frame check after that down jab. Yep. Zero on block now. Yeah, it was good awareness. Close to Dizzy. Throw or no throw. Ah, he got him with the shimmy again. The bait. Clean it up with a down medium punch uppercut. Alex Myers on a tear. He is at a uh, match point here, trying to OCV the entire team. One character victory. That's punishable, but just a standing medium kick, so not terrible. Catches the counter hit. Yeah, looks for the light kick pressure. Oh, Got him. No. And there's that extra 120% damage on that first hit. Yeah, the fierce. It's a grip of damage, even though it wasn't a crush counter punish. Ow, wow. Just Slaps reaching that out fierce. there. <laughs> that button is great. It's really, really far Ooh, range. Stop the, di the, the, the scissor kicks. Yeah. I think he was trying to read a back dash with the EX scissor. Oh. Stomp. <laughs> Get that hooligan out of there. Oh, Ooh, missed the combo oh, back throw. No. Throw range from Bison is humongous, yep. so. Activates VT. A trade. EX for the plus frames. V reversals out. Wow. She's got v, uh, critical. Are you going to be careful about jumping? Yeah. Oh, the oh, whip punish. Alex. Alex that Myers. was in time. Alex Myers with the reaction on the back dash and the critical art. Woo. Alex Myers cleans it up. Three straight for his team. Yeah. Team captain with the team on his back. Nice work, dang. We got one of San Diego's finest. And you can see the look on Sherry's face right now. Very disappointed in her teammates. She's like, I'm never going to pick Filipinos like, you guys again. are whack. No, it's, <laughs> it's like, what the heck? But you know the best part about being friends with Filipinos? They're great people, but also the food, Filipino food, is amazing. Yeah, that's true. Even though she lost, she'll probably get some adobo. Get invited. Yeah, get invited adobo, to the birthday some party. Pancit, some yes. lumpia. Oh, oh, my God. It's fine. You it's win anyway that yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> you get it all in that. You, you eat all that food after, you're like, oh, my God. Filipino food is so delicious. So good. Everything what? has sauces. Everything is meat, sauce, rice. You can't go wrong, right? Like, it's like everything is so Look, good. I, I, one, one of my past roommates was Filipina, and so we had all, like, the, the spread. Homemade, homemade yep. Filipino dishes. Oh, so good. So yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the life, dude. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, man. They're like, oh, we're going to have a party because it's like so-and-so's, whatever's, <laughs> go dog's, girlfriend's, sister's, uh, you know, birthday party. I'm like, I'm over there. I'm, yeah, I'll, bring, I'll right. see you guys in 10 minutes. <laughs> What's the occasion? I'll bring a gift. Here's chocolates. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yes, I'll take the food. <laughs> but uh, that was Team Sherry versus Myers. We're going to have Alex Jabaley versus Justin Wong. Oh, man. What okay. a matchup that is. And, uh, uh, you know, Jabali going with a couple of SoCal natives over yeah. here. Stupendous and Donka Dillis. Don Donkey. Dunk what do you call him? Donka? Dun Dun Good old Donka, Donka Dillis. Dillis. Yeah, Donka Dillis. Of course, Justin Wong going with the old school team. I like this team going a lot. Going with Vae and uh, IFC Yikes. Is this a team of EVO champions? Yes. No, like, oh, no. Actually, I don't think Vi has ever won an Evo. What? Is it like, was it like a B, a B event, like B3 or something? Uh, he B1, won, B2? Yeah, he won B3. He won the original B3. We count it. Sure. Yeah, okay, fair That's enough. That's Evo. Enough. There you go. He won Evo before go. it was Evo. Yes, that is 100% true. And that, oh, man. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I, I'm very impressed. The old school team, right? You got to represent here at the Victrix launch event. Hope you guys have been enjoying everything so far. It's just like. It's a pretty laid back event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chill, yeah. chill. Very relaxing. And again, really awesome venue that they found here yeah. in uh, it's Alesmith, I think. Yeah. The, yeah, the Alesmith Brewery or, or Bar and yeah. Code or whatever it Surpri is. I mean, look, I was surprised to see so many people here drinking their beers that Saturday in the afternoon. Yeah, you know. they're enjoying <laughs> it. Just like I'm enjoying this lovely Victrix headset. You can, of course, find this on their website as well. The stick today, in case you guys don't know, is available for pre-order. It's going to mm -hmm. be coming out and releasing and shipping to everybody on the 15th of March. But the headset as well, they have coolers in the headset. That's right. So that way, you know, you're sipping a cold one with the boys. You know, to, you know, cool <laughs> things out. Make sure your ears don't get too sweaty when this you're playing like games. The, the microphone was, like, designed for helicopters or something. Yeah, like it, it's super impressive. <laughs> 
impressive. As impressive as the fact that they're working with Northern California Regional. Ah. So if you head on down there, you will see, of course, Victory Six there. You'll see everybody there up at NCR in San Jose, California yeah, at the end of the month. I'm excited about that. I'm yeah. excited about it going back to San Jose. Not right. that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with, with Sacramento. Sacramento. But I'm it's happy. Very nice. Yeah, it's happy that I'm back. It's back in San Jose. Yeah, San so, Jose. Yeah. Is, it should be a great time. I mean, that's a cool area. <laughs> NCR, obviously, on CPT. It's going to be a dope event. I can't wait to it. I've, I've been to NCR. I don't even know how many years in a yeah. row, right? Super fun event. Always a really, like, kind of laid back, but really fun start to the year. So happy that they're working with Victrix on that event as well. And uh, here it is. Alex Bailey versus IFC Yipes. <laughs> I like that they're leading with Yipes. If you guys haven't seen Yipes play this game, he's very good. And he has oh, yeah, a few yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has Kage, Nikali, and Yurian. And N Nikali is the one that he's mostly been using, but it looks like he is going to go with Kage this time. Yeah. And is Jabali going with Kami? Isn't he's he a boxer player? That's what I thought. I don't know what he's trying. He's trying something here. I, you know what? I don't think I would have ever imagined seeing this player matchup in Street Fighter V, yeah. like ever. Yeah, Alex Bailey versus the IFC Yipes in 2019. <laughs> what is this cameo? It's like a school, a naval school or a Delta I think it's Air the, Force? It's the, it's the, it's the, the, the coat only cami, right? Coat only? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. Right. And then Kage on the other side. Uh, new character, if you guys haven't seen too much of him so far. He's got a very little fireball, doesn't have huge range, and then he has red fireball, which it's goes full screen. Because he's Shin Dan, remember? Shin Dan. It's like uh, Jar, Jar Jar Binks being a Sith Lord dude, or whatever. Absolutely, dude. Have you seen the video comparing their moves? I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, that's lore in my heart. Okay, yeah. uh, that is that is official lore for me. Yeah, we count those. There's that red fireball you're seeing again. And uh, you got to watch the uppercuts on the jumps too, right? That's one thing you're going to see. Cami, she's going to approach like oh, that. that. Great was spacing. So nice, yeah. But I mean, it's interesting because Kage, when people first saw him, they were like, my God, this character looks amazing. And then everybody went into the, wow, this character's garbage kind yeah. of mode. And now, now he's kind of in that middle ground right now. Hard knockdown. Yep, V-Trigger 2, you get that stomp. You get the meaty oh, bomb wow, for the cross-up EX Tatsu. Yeah, but he didn't get to punish that uppercut fast enough there on if, the delay. Oh, the oh, raw stomp! What? What? Gotta no watch. respect stomp. Just said, you know what? I know you're going to crouch fierce into V-Trigger activation, so I'm just going to go right through that. The read, he was like, yeah, I know. And plus, <laughs> even if you jumped at that point, he was going to do medium uppercut into the V-Trigger 2 for big damage. Good start. A fear for uh, Alex Jabali. Uh, cornered himself though. Looking for that heavy kick. He wants to crush counter into the full combo. The throw tech right there. Stick. Oh, okay, here we go. Gets yep. the jab uppercut. Yeah, so you get the get light more. Tatsu into the jab DP. Right. That's usually the combo you see. Close to killing, but not quite. Jabali now just finding that one hit. Yep. Just might as well hit that button. It's a good button for Kami. Standing medium Final kick. Round. Oh, he tried to show his face. They were already Final. zooming in on your face, man. Come on. Did he really laser etch the debated face on his joystick? Oh, are you surprised even for a second? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, of course he did. Of course he did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. No uppercut on the cross up. Wow. Whiff punish on the sweep. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what he was trying for anti-air, but he's going to eat a grip of damage yeah, for he, that. He tried back medium punch, but it just lost to that far jump in. Yeah. Not quite as automatic as it used to be. EXTP, and he's got V-Trigger available. for it. So now, well, he just activated that V-Reversal, so no more. Oh, the delay! Nice timing there, but the neutral jump was in time to punish. Here we go, V-Trigger activation. Heavy stomp for the plus frames. EXT blocked it, what? but the TP. He just went for it! The disrespect! Yeah, yeah no-look handshake, oh. man. No-look no handshake. No, get out of the frame. Alex Javale and they're looking together. <laughs> that was so cute. Hit him with the no you see the no look handshake? He was looking right into the camera. Like, I did it. I did it every oh, day of my man. life. That's that. See, that's that's team OG right there. Yes. That's what you know you're OG when you just go for an uppercut in a situation like that. I don't care about frame data. And I they don't, don't lie. They don't say it was an option select. He said, yeah, I did it. I'd <laughs> do it again. You think you're so good. You kids and your frame data. Never heard of it. Oh, but now going to be going up against a Frankie, a.k.a. Stupendous. Yeah, dangerous man. I think he's in the top four of this tournament. He's pretty deep in this tournament. I saw him playing earlier. Yeah. 
I know he's on loser side. I think maybe Chris, I, I, Chris I Wynn Chris might have been. I think, yeah, I think Chris Wynn eliminated him. You might be right. So. Yeah, maybe like fifth or something like that, or, or seventh. But he had a great run uh, Wednesday night fights the other week. Really, really strong player. He has a Balrog, and he has a Geef. Yeah, he's been picking up that Balrog. Obviously, last season it yeah. was kind of uh, necessary to have a secondary character uh, outside Geef? of the Geef. Yeah. yeah, but you know, Geef much stronger this season. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, just through the course of this year, through all the Wednesday night fights and, and you know when he travels, to see a lot more Geef out of him. Yeah, we used to call his Balrog the $2 Balrog. <laughs> but I think it's like a $10 Balrog. It's, it's like got, oh, it's got it's increased in it's, value. Huh? It's solid. I think he's actually. Maybe Decent. the best Balrog in SoCal. We don't have that many, right? But he's one of the best ones. Maybe up there with like uh, – we have, we have actually, I guess, maybe a handful now that I think about it. But it's been a while, right, since we had Season 2. We had a bunch of really good uh, Balrog players. Every week. We had like John Rog and Javi. We had all these Rog players out. Now not so much, but stupendous <laughs> Balrog solid. The handshake. He said, you're going to get me. This matchup's not good for me. That's what he's saying right now. He's like, Zangief. Well, I mean, honestly, this for Jabaley's team, I think this is the right pick right now, yeah. sending up Stupendous. Yeah, you got to get rid of this Kage. And then after that, you have Justin, who has, like, you know, he has some defensive characters yeah. to deal with Zangi. And you have Vi, who's also been playing Kage. But he has Blanca, you know, so he has, like, other characters he could choose as well. We'll see yeah. what he thinks. I feel like if... If Stupendous wins this one, I feel like Justin would probably go up next, maybe with a Monat or something like that. That's true. Try to harass some Zangief. But let's see if Stupendous can even get past Yipes, first and foremost. It's true. Red Fireball. Wow, just jump. jumps over the Fireball. This is some Street Fighter 2 right now. Flex on the sweep. Oh, no Come on, Yipes. Here. Come on, Yipes. Dizzy Show what here. the old school can do. Oh, Flex. Got the Fierce. He tried to jump. He together. cannot get out of this corner at all. That's... Oh, okay. Uppercut. Hit enough times. Oh, meaty overhead into the combo. Nice. All right. Cross up Tonsu. Close to stun. No, goes low. Oh, oh dizzy. that's going to be a stun right there. Yes. On a crumple stun. Oh, no. The event's a neutral jump. All right. Uppercut after. Working on this. Uh-oh. 50-50. The jab SPD. Yep. So he's not going to be able to get a mix-up after this. Yep. Yeah. If he, if he timed that right, he would have been okay. But you, you can't get hit by crouching jab. Right. Oh, oh, he just sucked him in. He just sucked him in out of nowhere. So he raw. was walking forward. B trigger. Look at the smile from Frank. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and Yipes is just nodding his head. He's like, okay, okay. Oh, I know you're scared. To I'm just going to dash. Ah, the, the delay to delay. us. Yep. One more dash up. What you got? Oh, oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the air. EXDP for the damage. Is that red fireball again to back him up. Now he's looking for the jump. Yeah, still not a problem. Just depend still with the life lead here. Kage obviously with very low health. Oh, what fireball? I don't care about your fireballs. I'm just going to stand strong you in the face. Yeah, and that's that medium punch great in this version. Oh, yeah. Jump. There's the uppercut. Beats the throw, but nothing out of it. Oh, he got oh, through with the flex. Oh, but reset. he went for the reset instead. Not enough to kill. Goes for the suction, keeps yeah. it safe oh, in the head, but... He tried to do something. Yipes tried to do something while getting up after the first one whiffed. Didn't believe he was going to go for the second one. Here comes Alex Vi. It looks like he's still wearing the production headset. Oh, Vi is going up He's first, got the huh? production headset. He's got a walkie-talkie, a backpack. He's got the floor plan. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? What do you think? Blanca? Kage? Maybe, maybe Kage. I don't Maybe know, we'll see. He wants to show up Yipes, like show him how it's supposed to be done. I mean, he's been playing this character a lot. I saw him in Wednesday Night Fights grinding this week, grinding the last few weeks. He's been playing this character a lot. And I'm sure, you know, if you play in SoCal Ranked, especially late at night, these two you run into all the time. They're <laughs> these two are always like, when you play yeah. late late at night, this is who you run into. Like, uh, Vi is always streaming super late, right? And so is Stupendous. Uh, both of them streaming Street Fighter super late at night. So you run into them a lot. You know what's funny about this team selection from Justin, too, is I don't think either of the people on his team knew that they were going to pick get picked. No. Uh, I think they had no idea. Alex's face, he's like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Alex likes it, though. Yeah. He's always down to get some get some games in. Oh. Kage oh, it is. is doing, he is going with Kage. So this team is double Kage, and then Justin, who maybe is going to play Falk. Maybe Minot. Maybe That's Karen. Right. Falk, maybe yeah. Birdie. He actually is going to pick Birdie. Damn. He's going to pick Birdie. Going for that, uh, the tier, top tier Dude, now. Dude, and also with Justin's ground game, it's a good choice. I mean, I, I like that pick now for Fudo as well. Yeah, that's great. You know, the, 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 the footsies, the buttons that he has on the ground fit yeah. Fudo's style so well. That dash up, low medium kick. Oh, two hits, but 
There it is with the B-Skill. Dash up. And it's nice now because you don't have as much gray health anymore when you absorb stuff in Season 4. That's nice. I like that reversal jab from Vi, actually. He figured that he was going to try to read something with like an SPD or maybe try to like you know jump and catch something. Man, look at it. Vi walking him down. Even though he's kind of like, uh, you know, the character you don't expect to do that here. Charge V-Skill for the plus ring. That V-Trigger V-Skill. Teleport. Oh, but great block from Stupendous. Was expecting it. Yeah, he plays that VT1. Yeah, I we saw with V-Trigger 2. Ooh, I thought he was going to absorb the second one and then just go for the SPD. Oh, that's standing Again. strong. Stuff in that fireball. Oh, got the crush counter sweep. Whoa. Oh, ambiguous jump in. Ooh, a little out of range. The suction, he hits the button, down jab oh into it. Oh boy. That was perfect. He did a little walk back so that mm. by his uh, crouching, or his throw would whiff, and then he did a crouching jab into the V trigger. That was really well done from Stupendous. These, I, 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 these two have run into each other a lot during those streams, too, yeah. right? Yeah, they play all the time. Wins and I fights, they played a bunch online, they always run into each other. Dash up! Oh, I like the idea of it, but Vi was standing his ground. Yeah, he was ready for it, right? He's like, okay, you're gonna jump, you're gonna dash up. Man, Stupendous' use of that V skill is so good. I feel like it, 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 that, that change to the armor damage helped him out so much. Yeah, he has a good rhythm about when people want to hit a button. You just walk up, wait, flex, right? Like, that's like the time. Right? Just wait a little bit, flex. And you always want to hit something. And now he's gone away from the flex and he's just using his buttons, right? Medium punch, heavy punch. Yeah, but look at look at the way Vi is playing the footsies right now. He is playing it so well, just staying in range, out of range, controlling that distance. And really, honestly, Stupendous hasn't really given Vi any reason to be worried. He went for the reset again. Vi was ready for it that time. The jump back jab. Oh, punish? No, he doesn't want to go for it. Low medium kick. That was about as Street Fighter as it gets. Just run away, low medium kick fireball. <laughs> that was great. Look at this guy, Vi, waiting in the neutral. He's waiting for that moment. He's looking for the jump, looking for the dash. It's like I said, the spacing from... Oh! oh! He knew it! He just dash up air SPD. Jump back. Vi, he committed to the same option. He was like, I'm willing to run. Looking for that forward heavy punch. You can hit confirm into the heavy kick on crush counter. Stupendous doesn't mind Vi jumping backwards, though, because he does build a little bit of that space. You can see Vi has already walked him down a good chunk of that stage already. Yeah, Vi using a fireball. He hasn't used his fireballs that much, actually. He's just kind of waited on the ground. There's that forward heavy punch hit confirm. It only works on standing opponents or uh, on crush counter. Crouchers it'll whiff. And now he's all the way in the corner. Man, I mean, Vi. This, this has just been a steady pattern. Vi just slowly walking Stupendous down. Uh-oh, set up here. Teleport oh, cross Oh, but he just mistimed it a tiny bit, so he couldn't quite get the combo off of it. He does have red fireball teleport. There it is. He's got one more use. Charge oh, B-Skill, he's got him! the B-Skill instead! Reset Alex! Vaye takes it over Stupendous! Vaye is showing Stupendous. Oh, Look, weird. I know you went for your cheeky little resets. Let me show you how it's done. Yup. Hits him with that axe it. kick into the throw. Alex Vaye over Stupendous. Ooh. Look at, yeah! You actually think, yeah! That's yeah, the nod right there. That's yeah. the classic. You got Justin <laughs> in the background. He's got all the time in the world. He's relaxed. <laughs> Look at Vi nodding his head right now. Yeah, he's part team OGs. Vi is like, I was supposed to be working today. I didn't realize I was going to be given that work instead. Like, <laughs> Waiting. Team OGs. So the last member. It's funny because like, for me, they're like all three different generations. Yeah. But, you know, now That's true. I guess I didn't really think about it. Like, Well, look, Justin's a, he's a father now. That's that right. makes you an OG. Yeah. That, that makes you an OG. It's true. And, but also, you know, some people were joking like, oh, you know, maybe he's done. Because I was like, no, it's the Sako power-up, dude. Yeah. It's the Sako power-up. Won two up. premieres. Exactly. Don Gadias, another Southern California player, obviously. Who and uh, Wednesday Night Fights player for sure. Yeah, represented uh, Street Fighter V at Red Bull Conquest last year. Yeah, for the LA region. Also, second place at the LCQ at Capcom Cup. So That's very right. close to being in that top 32 elite echelon of players. And you know how he does it. He goes to Wednesday Night Fights, and he grinds from opening to close, and then he leaves, and then he comes back and does it again. <laughs> Attends his locals, goes to a bunch of different tournaments throughout the year when he has time to make it. Great. L locals are the secret, man, in mm -hmm. every way, shape, or form. Even if you're a player, if you're a 
TO, you want to help run tournaments, you want to be a commentator. You locals, don't got to tell me. Locals are the key. It's the way to do it. And they're every week. Wednesday night fights. And LBC, whatever locals in your region, go check it out. Stanky Diaz versus Alex Vi. Classic. This is, you always see this one on Wednesday Night Fights, either in casuals <laughs> or in the actual tournament. I feel like this is the matchup you always see played, like, before the tournament starts, yeah. you know, like, during the casual stream. Yeah, Stanky Diaz has been working on a few pocket characters. He's got a G, a Blanca, a Urian, and a Dalsum. So it is. So he is going to go with, I mean, is there? His is G there, is legit. I'm just trying to figure out, though, if, if he just doesn't like Dalsum versus Kage, or... Yeah, I mean, I think in a matchup like that, it's easy for Dalsum to kind of explode. And, you know, when you're just chilling with G here, you have very strong comeback potential, and you can kind of fight this character well with your fireballs. He doesn't have anything that scary from full screen to knock you down, besides maybe the red fireball, which is, you know, you can maybe jump over it. Yeah, that red fireball. Yeah, the buttons from G, so strong. That standing medium kick right there is such a good button. That was a well-spaced axe kick. That's the thing is, you have to really be clean about spacing those wheel kicks when you don't have the level up. Whip punish, take the level. One of the problems here is that the G is tall. So that is little tall. jumping air fireball that Vi has been doing can cause him, uh, I think it is a little problem. Oh, that's gonna go through, yep. No combo, crush counter. Oh, clipped him out of the back dash, overhead. Oh, here we go. This is yep. the start of everything right here. Missed the low smash. Oh, he did. Oh, jump E skill oh. over it. Jump E skill again. You gotta watch the low smash. There it is. Yep. So here we go. Big damage off of this. Still has some V trigger. Oh, wow. Didn't time the safe jump properly. And he baits the throw. Alex Vi showing the young guns how it's done. Alex Vi saying, don't worry, Justin. You don't need to play anything. I got you. Not just yet. The, ben the hat on the hat. I don't, I don't. Walk down pressure, that crushing medium punch. Plus frames. Big jump in, no combo. This is big though. Negadius with a knockdown. Doesn't take the level. Yeah, interesting. Man. Didn't take the level and really didn't have a particularly strong meaty situation yeah, either. Yeah, he tried to fake the command throw. Armors through. You got to get a knockdown here to remove the level from G. There he does. There he does it. Neutral jump. Wow, he should have done Fierce there. He was a little too far. What? Reversal super. Are you serious? Oh, okay. All right. Take the smash. And now it's 50-50 command throw or not. No anti air. Too tall. Every time Danka Diaz has gotten the knockdown on Vi, I feel like he hasn't gotten anything out of it. Oh, he jumped away from the... He was a little too far for the combo. Stop. EX. Hits a button. No, oh no my I god, he just, and then the fireball is going to take it. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was in like full run mode, right? He was like all flight. He's like, I got to get out of here, I got to run away. Missed the uppercut, and he didn't get the punish on it, but thank you, like, he is with the buffer, punish. It's like I said, though, G is just one of those characters, and once he knocks you down, the offensive pressure is so strong, but I really feel like Denka Diaz has been playing kind of scared against Vi once he's gotten the knockdown. Yeah, he does have a command throw. Uh, but you don't want to commit if you think he's going to jump out of it, right? So that's kind of what he's thinking here, I think. V skill in the air, maybe looking for him to walk up with a button or throw a fireball. Dash up gets checked. By ever so ready for the forward dashes as usual. Oh, there not it is. that time. Yeah, he wasn't ready with the counter hit combo. A little too far for that crouching medium punch. Low medium kick again. Vi just keeping it simple and solid. Yeah, and he's stuck in the corner here. Is Dan Diaz is, of course. Now he's got to try to find his way out. So V-Trigger, going to be a way to start it. Got him low. Okay. That wasn't even a combo into the crack shoot. Neutral jump. There's a lot of neutral jumps from Dan Diaz. I think he's trying to read the V-Skills, but he hasn't found the timing, the smash, nice. and the axe kick. Gets the confirm. Command throw. He went for it. Wake up, critical art. He's teleporting through, though. Light him oh, up. The no. stomp. Alex Valle cleans it up. With a great bait and prediction oh, on the super. Gets right through there. The and OG. Look at right now. He is feeling himself right now. Justin Wong giving him a little like, bit of like, a fountain of that youth. Fireball? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Alex Vi, you were supposed to be working today. Look at you cheesing up there on stage. Justin Wong giving birth to more than just Harper here, right? So the Vi here, re resurrecting his career. 
Oh, man, I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> so it's going to be Team Justin in the finals. They're chilling. Gonna be up going against up Team against, Alex yeah, Myers. Team Alex Myers. So both a lot of, of young players on Team Alex Myers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be very young ver versus very old then. Huh? Very so. old? He knows the kid. That's exactly right. <laughs> you, you can't put Vi up against the Winston I fights crew. Dude, they play dude, too much. That, that was Justin's that's a dad strategy? Wisdom. That, that was the Justin strategy? Justin, you know, it's the dad wisdom in him. He's like, oh, the, par the parental wisdom. Yeah, he came up here and he literally said he knows his kids. So he, he says he kids. Vi knows how to fight all the Wednesday night fights players. So that's why he drafted him onto the team. Genius. That's new wisdom from Justin, though. Yes, Before, exactly. you think Justin would have picked Vi? But now he's like... <laughs> Wisdom is power. That's the meta game, right? That's yep. the true meta game, right there. I love it. So. This guy, Justin, he's got a new, a new perspective on life. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I like the way he thinks. Oh man! Good so they're gonna have uh, a chance up against Team Alex Myers, who we only saw Alex Myers last time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We didn't see Commander Jesse, and we didn't see JB. JB up on J. the stage. B. Yeah. So uh, I guess we're gonna he's see them team. now. I think that they're also in the top four for Street Fighter that's coming up after this as well. Uh, JB and Commander Jesse. I th I think so. Because I know that was some of the people they were trying to look up to yeah. draft. Yeah, Diaz is in the top four, I believe. So okay, okay. I will see. I I'm, I'm sure many of the people that are playing in the exhibition on these teams will be there as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So they yeah. got snatched up real quick. Everybody wanted all the good players. And now the question really is: is Who's going to go up first? What's going to be our first matchup here in this situation? I mean, it, I feel like Myers played so great last time. He looked hot. Well, you might want to put him up first again, right? Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Kind of, uh, you know, don't let him cool down too much, you know? Yeah, you want to, you want him to stay warm and also maybe even send a vibe for I guess maybe, you know, they're going to probably put Yipes up again. It looks like it is yeah, Yipes, Yipes versus is Commander up. Jesse. Oh! interesting so i mean this is not great for jesse because obviously Tulsa players generally don't like fighting against nikali very much once nikali gets the v trigger activated which is like yeah. almost guaranteed for sure. against Dalsum, then nikali becomes a problem that's actually a great point i wonder if yibes will switch characters now that he knows he has to fight Dalsum. that's actually but is it character locked I have no idea. <laughs> but the, the interesting thing is that if you're Jesse, you have a lot of characters. If he's going to pick Nikali, because that matchup's bad for Dalsum. If he's going to mm -hmm. pick Nikali, he has uh, Colleen now that he's been working on. He's, he has, like, uh, Sakura. He's got, you know, he plays a little bit of Mika. He's got other characters he could try to use. But if it's Kage, I think he's probably going to pick Dalsum. It just depends on if it's Kage or Nikali. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to get a blind pick here. Go into serious mode. Yo, man, I'm going to need a blind pick in the Victrix exhibition <laughs> for the launch day event here in lovely San Diego. I hope you guys have uh, been having a nice Saturday. Yeah, it's, a, I think, a pretty relaxed Saturday in terms oh, of yeah. fighting game events, right? Oh, yeah. I think it was kind of a chill weekend, nothing too crazy. Had the cool Tekken exhibition, and now we're just relaxed and playing some games. Celebrating the launch of the new Victrix Pro joystick. Mm -hmm. It's a nice joystick, and of course they've had their headsets for a long time. They've yeah. been a the official headset of the Capcom Pro Tour for a couple of years now. Yeah, that's right. But it looks like it is going to be Kage and Dalsim. Yeah, so probably if, if Commander Jesse wins, he's going to have to fight two Kages back to back, probably. Probably. Yeah, I think his matchups don't seem too bad here overall. Most of Justin's characters are pretty slow, which Dalsim is usually okay fighting. So we'll see. Game Round one here. One. I mean, the only game Fight. they're going to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just sliding just to avoid the jump in. Teleport back is clipped by the red fireball. And there's that plus frame drill. He sets it up so well. Ooh, try to go for an empty hook break. Yeah, empty teleport and he gets jumped for it. And there's a little punish on that V skill. You would think you'd want to use it against the limbs, but a lot of the times Dalsum, you know, he, he just kind of floats through it or he does something else. Using that fireball to keep him in some frame advantage and keep the pressure going. But now, backing off a little bit. Ooh. Not far enough on that slide. Man, setting him up with the plus frames, locking him down. I love the block though. Patience. Yeah, I was about to say, the patience from Jesse. 50 50. Yeah, I love the teleport. Back and the float. Look at him floating over the fireball for the yeah. wind pose. Unfortunately for Yipes, just throwing that fireball. Not really thinking that that Dalsum fireball was coming. Good timing by Jesse to get that. Yeah, Dalsum float is very pesky for characters with grounded fireballs, you know? Oh, misses fireball. All right, front throw, meaty slide. Yep, and close to stun now. 
50 50 Stay goes low yeah. that was a great block that's a versus player you got to remember yeah also you know just a little information probably doesn't want to teleport behind but there we go the combo extension thanks to the fireball uh uh and there it is commander jesse taking game number one yipes going up Oh, and two here at this event, right? Oh, no, Wait, no, you got to win. You got to win. Beat up Alex Bailey. That's right. That's right. Justin coming up now? Ooh, they saw Vi was on okay. a hot streak, and Justin's like, I got to get rid of this guy. I don't want uh, Vi to have to fight Kage. Or, sorry, Dalsum with Kage, so I'm just going to step in. Let me, uh, what do you think? You think Vi might be scared a little bit? You think he might be scared a little bit? I wouldn't call him scared. <laughs> I'd call him wise. Yeah, maybe he's scared. <laughs> I don't know, but I think Justin coming in now is a good good choice. But now the question really is, like, who is he going to use? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. That's the thing about Justin is Falk, he's, he's trained a lot of characters birdie. lately. Yeah, I don't know if he'll go birdie against And he, remember, he just had a tweet that was like, why didn't anyone tell me Jury is this fun? Yeah, Jury is great. She's solid, man. I think in this version she's really great. Yeah. She fights Dalsum fine, too, so. Didn't get any significant buffs, but... I feel like some of the other stronger characters got nerfed enough that uh, might have helped. I, I would have liked to have seen her gotten a little bit more, but. Look at him searching on the character select screen. Manon? Oh, he's doing it. He's just going with the classic. There it is. Want to know who wins? I mean, if she could see the future and know who wins, if she loses, why would she bother fighting? Why would she even fight? It's about the experience, you know? It's about the thrill of battle. That's how you know she's just posturing at that point. It's just yeah. trash talk. She's talking all that trash. She does do that a lot, though. She's way too cheery for how annoying she is to fight. <laughs> That's what always gets you, right? It's like she's making all these jokes and she's laughing and you never get in. You're like, you character. First game went to Jesse for Team Myers and Justin Wong, the team captain, stepping up to try to put a stop to the bleeding. Obviously, one of the nice things that Dalsum ha does have is he does have the teleports. We can get in from the other side if Manat commits to too many standing heavy punches. That orb recall to try to clip Dalsum. But the orb's behind her, yeah. So those cancels are actually not that scary when you switch sides like that. Maybe it's time for Jesse to hit a, try to hit a button, interrupt or something. But this is a very common matchup, particularly online netplay, because there's so many Manat players on the West Coast that uh, you, Jesse would have ran into last season. Really? Yeah, John. Uh, you know, you, you have Filipino man. He's playing a lot of that oh, character. Oh, okay, okay. I play, yeah, yeah, yeah. Romance. There's That's a lot. I was to say because I don't run into a lot of them, but yeah, all the Manats are way up there. I'm, I'm not way up Super there. Super mega them. master yeah. warlord team. <laughs> I ran into those and the Guiles all the time. Platinum, Diamond, Grandmasters, whatever. Yeah, too high punishes that. Nice throw tag from Justin. Yeah, you getting see a little right bit now, of Jesse with a decent life lead here. But V-Trigger Monop, very, very scary. Getting some of that chip damage. Very slow round so far. Justin's going to need something. He needs an activation point, and he needs it soon, but there's the anti here. But again, you see kind of the difference between that three bar, two bar trigger. Finally gets the opportunity to activate, and Jesse being super patient. Justin knows, so he said, okay, you're going to block a bunch. I'm going to get the throw, and then here we go. Gets the hit. Went for the overhead reset. Didn't quite get him. Shoots the orb out. And uh, now if you're Jesse, this is a big lead. 13 seconds on the clock, and the low will nice. do it. Jesse. Okay. Okay, I see you, Jesse. Very methodically played round. Says, I don't care you got fourth place at Capcom Cup this last year. Like the snipe. And that heavy orb is good to stop the float from Dalsum as well. And it clashes with his fireballs a little early, so it's not a bad orb to throw in this matchup. Yeah, that heavy toss right there. That angle is, is pretty good for keeping Dalsum on the ground. <laughs> Both of them throwing projectiles at the exact same time. All right, two piece with the fierce. After extra damage, Crush counters the limb. So that's going to allow Justin in. It's always interesting because Manat always likes to keep out so much, but even against Dalsa, maybe benefits her to go in a little bit. Just waiting him out. Now that Justin has the lead, no reason for him to get crazy. Taking the chip on the heavy orb into the soul spark. V reversal. Yeah, out of there. And wow, recovered in time. That V reversal means with a three bar trigger, it's going to be a little hard for Justin, but he's got such a big lead. 
nice avoidance from Jesse. EX for the snipe. That was a punish on the uh, up fireball. Yeah, it's the second time I feel like we've seen him do yeah. that. He's tried it a few times. It's landed twice oh, to jump in. But not close enough for anything to combo off of that. God, was able to pop the soul spark and still jab Dalsam out of the air in time. Yeah, and that's the thing about Justin. He's so slow, so methodical on the ground. He's very difficult to find like a moment where he crumples, right? Where he just cracks and you're like, oh, that's the moment that I got to get in and make it count. Punish. Again. Got to watch the teleport out of the corner from Jesse. Yeah. Covering the that space up there, but this time Jesse getting in there with the teleport. Jesse trying to get his orb back. Yeah, this is... He was a little too far for the fear. Jabs him out of the air again, and this has been a weakness of Jesse I've seen in the past. You know, he'll have this lead and then teleport himself into the corner. That's definitely true. Because he just wants to be aggressive. Yeah, he's definitely a, a more aggressive Dalsum than others. He kind of relies on his, his wits and, like, you know, making those decisions in the claw. Teleports in? Good block again, and Justin last time got him, opened him up with the slide, so this time goes for the throw. Double teleport from Jesse. Justin sitting on a critical art. Orbs come in, cross up. He's Watch got the heavy punch orb left. Both of them with the critical art now. Taking that chip. It's a very close match. 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, if Jesse can get one hit in right now, he could come into a super, but same could Justin. You gotta be careful jumping back like that. He can teleport forward and read it into the super. That's what he probably wanted right there. Jabbed him out of the air. And now Justin with the slight life lead. Well, not anymore. Yeah, that did a little bit of extra. 50 drills onto Whoa. it, combo. No juggle off of that, but gets the Yoga Gale. Super, you gotta be careful. Justin's got it. No, not enough time on the clock. Five seconds, three seconds, and that'll yeah. do it. There you go. Justin had to be a little aggressive at the end there. The clock was running out. The timer strategy working in favor of Jesse that time. Yeah, Team Alex Myers. Ooh. Sent up the right man to do the job so far. It's only Alex Vi left. Alex Myers' teams for both matches have only had one person play so far. Yeah. Which means JB hasn't done any work yet. Are at you all. Wait a minute. Is it possible that JB wins without playing a game? There is absolutely a possibility. The MVP that right now. is JB. Hasn't played a single match. <laughs> His team is about to get the, <laughs> get the job done without him. Must be nice. Just chilling in the back. We got Alex Vi up. He needs to defeat three straight players. This is going to be a tough one here because I think he's starting with a really particularly strong fight here. Yeah, he's got to start off strong, beat down this Dalsum and try to chew through the rest of the team. How often do you see this at Wednesday Night Fights? Oh, okay. Je Jesse versus Vi? Yeah, I feel like we see that a lot too. Almost every you know, player matchup you see often, whether it's in tournament or casuals after. Looks like we're locked and loaded here. Kage versus Dawson. I swear I thought I just saw Alex Myers like walk out of the room or something like he's that. He's peacing out. He's like, yeah. I don't need to be here. I, like he said something to JB and walked away. He was like, you got this. Don't worry about it. You don't need me. And then he just took off. Good luck, homie. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll catch you around. I'm going back to NorCal. All right. It is going to be Kage again. Not even sure if it's forced character lock, but again, like you said, Vi has been playing a lot of Kage's and yeah. having fun with him, so. Fight. I already yeah, sense a different playstyle from Jesse fighting against uh, Vi. A lot of experience. Continues too, for sure, right? You know, when you have that much practice against somebody, like, you're just going to be familiar with their tricks and their play style. And then it takes, I feel like in the beginning, you have to be like, all right, what do they do again? Okay, there we go. Slide, get into that focus attack. I just call it a focus attack. Yeah, okay. basically. <laughs> I mean, at least it doesn't lead to a full combo and ultra with a crumple. <laughs> oh, he just walked down that back dash. He just walked up slowly and caught the back dash. He knew it was coming. Oh, nah, didn't wasn't get the clip, but. Enough. Wasn't fast enough. Sets him up, teleports out. Oh, are you kidding me? Smokes him. Look for the, he's got plus frames. Jesse with the blocks, the DP. Clipped the jump back. 
plus frames, but there's the V reversal from Jesse. Sets yeah. him up with a fireball, and he teleports in place. Not gonna die by Chip. Yeah, fake the teleport behind. Still faking it. Oh, oh. but that's gonna land on Vi's head. Shot there it, it from downtown. The jump shot fireball. <laughs> That was the Stephen Curry right yeah, from, there from way downtown. From downtown. He's on fire. Hit him with it. It's him. good. <laughs> For three. Boom shakalaka. You know, if you commentated basketball and there's a Steph Curry, you know, he's playing in the game, you just say for three every time. <laughs> For three. <laughs> For three. Throws up a brick. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Easy piece. Activates into the oh. B skill. Good damage off of that. Goes for doesn't get much damage. It just goes for the setup. The float back, oh the lazy God. boy. Which way do you block that? And then the Gale. Is this gonna happen? Oh boy. Alex by oh. what do you got left? Oh, chases him down. The supercharger, that's, that's gonna do, do it. it. And guess what? Alex Myers' team has won, and JB did not have to do great job, JB. Great yeah, job, nice JB. JB. Yeah, JB MVP. Of the exhibition here. JB, the champion, gets the job done, carries his team <laughs> as usual. You can't, you can't have done it without that without level of support. Yeah. That level of moral support from JB just carried that team all the way through. Congratulations. If it wasn't for JB, they wouldn't have won. Absolutely. Dude. Yeah, they couldn't you know, have done it without they him. They were so scared of JB in the back. It put that much extra pr – no. Yeah. <laughs> no, Commander Jesse played played his game. He played very well. And I think – you know, the thing about Dalsum is sometimes he runs into bad matchups and it's tough. But I think there he had three great fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah. I really like sending mm -hmm. up Commander Jesse first. I think that was a great choice. Yeah, Commander Jesse, just like Esty Pinoy, those are the two guys from SoCal that I've always, you know, feel like – if you're looking for some up-and-comers and strong players to sponsor, those yeah. are some good players to, 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 to go with. So, Yeah, I mean, tail end of the Street Fighter Four era, they were, like, super good, and then mm -hmm, they stepped it up mm -hmm. in this game. They've been playing awesome. And uh, now we have guys like Dan Diaz, obviously, yep. that are really mm -hmm. good. You have, like, namestays like uh, Filipino Man, who we saw in this exhibition as well, right? Alex Myers, they've been around for a long time. So Now that Alex players. Myers is back to being SoCal. Yeah, Let's go. Right. Alex yeah. Myers. SoCal Alex Myers taking the tournament. We count him now. Yeah, exactly. Just like, you know, because he won, he was part of the team, JB is also now so part Cal. of SoCal. His entire 100%. life. Yeah, exactly. Since he was born. Exactly. JB has been SoCal the whole time. But. It seems <laughs> that way. Oh, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed that exhibition. We have some more stuff coming up. Uh, a Tekken, the Tekken Top 4, the Street Fighter Five Top 4 from the singles yeah. tournament here. But before we even get to that, we are going to talk to the winning team. Yeah, we're going to get a chance well. to hear from the winners. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying everything so far. Let's head on over to Yipes with our winners of this team exhibition. All right. The, so that was a fire exhibition. Make some noise if you enjoyed that. Please make some noise. The bonus stage, the saga continues. And, of course, we are with the winners of the tournament. The exhibition, I should say. I felt like it was a tournament. That's how cool it was. But the winner of the exhibition, of course, Team Alex Myers. The man. No, it's all right. I, was the, I can applaud because I received the ass kicking from you guys. So I can, I can applaud to that. But, yeah, uh, any words? I mean, he's the champ. You got us there. You got him there. Yeah, we got him, we got him. So let's, let's start with you first. Uh, I'm sorry if we were being a little bit too tryhard. I tried to pick the best team, but uh, I think the real MVPs were Justin's team. That was pretty funny to watch. And uh, yeah, Jesse did good stuff. JB didn't even have to play. So yeah, good day. That's the best part about uh, ex exhibitions, man. Team exhibitions just don't have to do much. And of course, the man that put the yoga in my culo, <laughs> could man the Jesse. What's going on, champ? What's good, homie? Yeah, good, good. How you feel about all that right there? Uh, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel like I was playing good. Uh, as soon as Myers told me I was on the squad, I knew that we had a really good chance, so I felt pretty confident. Yeah, that was a solid team, and of course, JB ain't doing nothing. But you want some shout-outs, though? You want to say something to the people? You just too cool for school? Okay. Say something to the people. The sheets, sheets. I think that ultimately I'm the MVP of this team because I was, like, the best moral support, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have to play, so, you know. We just needed JB's. I was shouting a lot in my head. And I supported them a lot, so Thank you, congrats to me. Wow. What a guy. Kill him with kindness. There you go. Team Alex Myers, ladies and gentlemen, is your exhibition winner. There you go. Round of applause, please. Round of applause. Man, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Well, guys, stick around. We're going to take a quick break. But we'll return it with some more bonus stage action with some Tekken 7 Top 4. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. 